All right, hey gents, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. I, I know pistol caliber carbines are all the rave. Now, why? Well, they're lighter, they're smaller, ammo's cheaper, a lot less recoil. They're just all around fun to shoot. Now, the downside though is that the, the ammo is less effective, all right? And that a lot of your nine millimeter ARs, they just don't run. I've shot all kinds of them and an AR that's been converted to shoot nine millimeter, it doesn't matter if it runs the Uzi magazines or the Glock magazines. In general, my personal experience is they just don't run. Even my, my wife's SIG MPX, it's a nice gun. It's just not that reliable. It's not. But don't get me wrong, pistol caliber carbines are fun to shoot. They are. Now, when CMMG asked me to test their Banshee, Okay, this is another pistol. It is, it's a, a pistol caliber AR. It's not gonna run. It's not gonna run, it's not gonna run. But I'll try, I'll test it out for you. Okay, so what makes this little Banshee different than all the other little ARs that Carl hasn't been impressed with? Because remember now guys, the reason why I run a Glock is because it's reliable because I do combat shooting, not competition, not just playing and plinking in the backyard. To me, first and foremost, that firearm has to be reliable. It has to go bang all the time because if I'm not home and my family has to use this particular platform to defend my household, I can't have it go down on them in the middle of a gunfight. It has to be reliable. That's what's important to me. That's where I gauge this thing not how fun it is, not how light it is, how small, everything. It has to be reliable, first and foremost. I'm gonna come back to that. What makes this different? Right off the bat, it's not blowback, all right? You'll notice it's got a little bolt face on it inside the bolt carrier, just like an AR does. Now, it's not gas impingement, it's not gas piston driven, just like, uh, it's not like direct blowback. In other words, the bolt is forced to rotate and then unlock. So what? what but yeah, that's what I said. But what it does is it slows the bolt down enough that it, it cycles safely, right? You get more gases down the barrel and the puppy shoots cleaner. That's important for when you're running suppressors on the end of this thing, right? Because everybody's seen their ARs, gas impingement ARs get all gummed up uh, after shooting just couple hundred rounds of suppressor and with a short barrel like this this is the perfect size gun threaded barrel to run a suppressor on people complain because this this puppy right here runs for fifteen hundred and fifty dollars now if you compare that to a cheap pistol caliber carbine one of those cheap ARs that runs off of Uzi mags or Glock mags it's more expensive but you shouldn't be comparing it to a cheap pistol caliber carbine at 1550, what you should be comparing it to is the MP5 that has a, a roller delay blade uh, blowback. Compare it to an MP5, all right? Uh, the Banshee's got all the AR ergonomics, ping pong paddle, uh, charging handle, all that stuff uh, that's the same. So all my muscle memory is the same as if I'm shooting my AR, plus the Banshee takes Glock mags. So even if, it, I run out, I can take that next speed reload mag from my pistol and that puppy will still run. So I'm able to use the same magazines that I'm running for my sidearm. Uh, guys, that makes a, a big difference to me. Plus, comparing the Banshee to an MP5, it's $1,000 less. So what am I comparing it to? Am I comparing it to that cheap pistol caliber AR or am I comparing it to a realistically equivalent weapon and I'm here to tell you I want my AR ergonomics and I like to save that thousand dollars to spend on ammo. This thing's a lot lighter, a lot smaller than a lot of the other AR uh, pistol caliber carbines I've shot. Guys look at how small this puppy is. It is a lot smaller than my wife's SIG MPX. I have this eight, uh, eight year old uh, uh, eight year old boy out in, um, where were we? We were in uh, Wichita, Kansas, out shooting. This gentleman brought his eight-year-old son out. Now, he'd already taught his son the rules of firearm safety. His son knew how to load and shoot the AR. 
Dude, he rocked this thing like a champ. Shot it pro and shot it standing. Came time to swap mags, uh, hit, the, hit the top of the bolt carry release. The kid was awesome, right? So, and the reason why I wanna stress that is if you've got a small wife, you've got uh, smaller teenagers in the house, if you've got people in the household that have disabilities, this is an excellent choice. Uh, compared to a regular AR, it really is. You also have a lot less recoil because of that radial delayed blowback. When you shoot this puppy, uh, here, I'll, I'll show you, man. It's got a lot, a lot less recoil. All right, you get on this thing, you'll see that you can really... Guys, it doesn't jump all over the place, it doesn't. I mentioned that it's an AR platform, so all the ergonomics are the same. Now, that's important for a lot of people because if you're get, you're practicing for that three gun season or you're practicing for your job at work, you're working on that muscle memory, right? Because you can do a lot of drills uh, uh, dry firing, but it's fun to get out and actually do the shooting with this gun. All right, so by having that, all the ergonomics the same, guys, it's an AR platform. You want to swap stocks, you want to do all that stuff, you can do all that with this thing. Now, the added benefit that this puppy runs off of the same Glock magazines that I run for my 34 or my Glock 19, whatever it is, guys, I can take that pistol, that magazine out of my Glock and it runs, runs like a champ. All right, so all my speed reload mags for my pistol, I can still use them for my home defense gun. So again, uh, just that alone, I, I'm not having to buy new mags. If I, don't get me wrong, if you want 32 rounders, you can buy them all day long, but you can still run the regular mags that you have. But then I was like, this is, this is a home run here. This is a winner. And then CMMG came back to me and they're like, hey, Carl, uh, we got a PMAG conversion for it. What's a PMAG conversion? You guys are gonna love this. So, guys, this is my short barrel AR. Now, um, short 10 and a half inch LaRue upper. You guys have seen this in a bunch of my videos. Now, this is a registered tax stamp 556 AR. The cool part is I can pull the two pins, I can take off that 556 upper, and then do the same thing on the Banshee. I can take off the Banshee lower, It's as simple as that, guys. And then, all right, so I'm gonna sit it on, push that in. Guys, literally, what I've just done is put the Banshee upper onto my registered short barrel rifle. You can put it onto your 5.56 AR pistol with your arm brace except now it runs nine millimeter. Well, wait a minute, how does it run nine millimeter? CMMG worked it out with PMAG. This is your standard PMAG, but it's got an insert in it for running nine millimeter. All right, so let me lock it to the rear. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Check my chamber's clear, push pull, hit the top of the uh, ping pong paddle. Guys, it just cycled and this thing is Guys, th what the cool part is, this thing fits in all my mag pouches. So I can get out and practice those speed reloads and get back in the fight and practice, right? Is that not neat? That's pretty awesome, right? Now, what about if you don't wanna buy new PMAGs that are just nine millimeter? What about if you wanna buy regular inserts? So let's say you already have a stack of PMAGs. Here's a, a old PMAG, it's got mud all over it. Literally, pull off your tail cap, pull out your 556 five, insert, sit it on the table, and they make these little inserts right here. You see it's got a back strap right here. When you slide it in, it goes in just like that. Now, it comes basically California compliant. Uh, because of this back piece right here, it will only take 10 rounds before it bottoms out, right? So if you're somewhere, you're in a state that has that 10 round restriction on it. But if you're in a state that allows 15 rounds, cut that piece off. You can now load 15 rounds. If you can load 20 rounds, cut that piece off. 
and it'll now load exactly 20 rounds. Now this is important because some states are hunting, things like that. Uh, behind enemy lines, California, you're only allowed 10 rounds. But if you live in America, you cut it at the top, I can put it into my PMAG, put that puppy up in there. I sit that cap back over it. Guys, this thing will now hold 30 rounds of nine millimeter. Ain't that sexy? Sit it in there and the puppy's gonna run. It's gonna run and it's gonna run. It's gonna run all day long and you grab that next mag, get back in the fight. Guys, that's the smell of freedom right there. I don't know any other gun that'll do that. I don't. Here's why. Um, great conversion kits, special P mags that will fit into any AR lower. Now, these mags, mind you, will not work with any other uh, nine millimeter upper. It will only work with this Banshee upper. I'm gonna clear it one more time. All right, and then I'm going to toss it back onto its own lower where it belongs. I get it out all the way. We'll edit some of that out. Put it back on where it belongs. All right, so these magazines will only work with the Banshee. You can convert it, you can put it back, this is fun to play with. It's great for small kids. It's small, it's light. It's good for the spouse. It's good with people with disabilities. All right, so it's available in nine millimeter. They have a 40 cal version. They have a 45 cal version. They've got a 5.7 version and they've got a new 10 millimeter version. So if you're one of those guys that's rocking the old 10 mil pistols, again, you can have a sub gun that will handle the same reload mags as your sidearm. Guys, that's a plus in a lot of situations. My gripe about pistol caliber carbines, remember, what's my gripe? They don't run. They, do, they don't run. That's why I don't like them. Guys, uh, I'm here to tell you I'm very pleasantly surprised with this thing. How pleasantly surprised? I appreciate you asking. Me, Chad, the other guys that come over, um, guys, we've got over 6,000 rounds through this. I, I want that to sink in, all right? Um, 6,000 rounds. We're like, there's no way. There's no way this thing is gonna run like that. Guys, we have tried all kinds of ammo. Aguila, uh, military ammo, 125s, 124s, 115s, this, that, and the other. Surely it's not gonna feed everything. It doesn't matter if we put subsonic ammo through it or uh, plus P plus, it shot everything. My clock won't even do that, guys. It won't. This thing runs like a champ. It still hasn't been cleaned. All we do is we oil it. We keep adding more oil to it. How is that? Not a single jam. Not at all. So I, I don't believe it. I'm almost to the point where I want to think this is a fluke and that there's no way all these CMMG Banshees can be this reliable. But when I talk to the guys there, uh, they just kind of giggle and they're like, yeah, uh, we're on to something here. It really is that reliable. If you're looking at getting a pistol caliber carbine, whether you want to use it for competition, um, whether you want to use it for home defense, whether you just want to play with it in the backyard, guys, this is not a toy. This pistol caliber carbine right here, the CMMG Banshee, this thing is awesome it really is so if you're ever out playing out on uh, the tactical rifleman range hanging out with us on weekends or whatever chances are we're going to have this thing out at the table because i'm here to tell you it's eventually going to jam eventually this puppy's going to jam but till that point i'm here to tell you cmmg's got a total home run here <laughs>so anyways, that's all I got for this week. Comment section below. Here's what I want to hear. I want to hear all you guys bash it. That's fine. Um, but what I want to hear is the other guys that have already got their hands on this little Ferrari right here. My CMMG Banshee owners, 
Let me know how many rounds you got through it. Let me know if you're getting jams because I'm here to tell you guys, I am not being paid a freaking dime by CMMG to say anything here. As a matter of fact, I need somebody to buy more nine mil ammo for me because I'm tired of spending all my Patreon money on it. Anyways, that's all I got this week. Write those comments below and we'll see y'all next week. Y'all take care, shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything. If you like the shirt that we're wearing in the video, you can get it in our store.